Hello and welcome to one of this week's adventure writing challenges. So to do this challenge you are going to need to be in a room or in your garden, um, doesn't really matter which room but maybe one of the slightly bigger rooms in your house might be better, don't be inside like a cupboard. You are also going to need some post-it notes or pieces of paper the same size as a post-it note roughly, a pen. Okay so this activity is about, now first of all, I know it can be a bit tough feeling like you're stuck somewhere and you can't go all places that you might want to go. Now we can't fix that obviously, but I hope that maybe feeling like you can go places in your imagination if you unleash your creativity can be a really nice thing to be able to do. It's not the same, but it can be a lovely activity. So that is what we're going to do today. We're going to unleash our imaginations and turn this space that we are in into somewhere completely different. Now, first of all, take a good look around this room that you are in because you're not going to see it for a while. Because using the great power of our imaginations, we are going to transform whatever space it is you're in, the room, the garden, into somewhere completely different. We are no longer in the place that we were just in we have travelled somewhere else. Now this somewhere else can be anywhere that you can think of. We could be on a desert island, on a pirate ship, we could be in a ruined castle, in an enchanted forest, we could be in a bustling city, we could be in a sci-fi setting, we could be in a haunted school, we could be anywhere at all. We could be somewhere completely bizarre and weird and uncanny. But we do need to be somewhere original, somewhere brand new, so we can't be in like Hogwarts or the Upside Down or any fictional setting that someone has thought of before. You need to be thinking of somewhere from scratch. So we have now entered into this place, wherever it might be. The room or the garden around us has disappeared, a new place is before us. And I want you to imagine this place as vividly as possible. What can you smell? What can you hear? What can you see over in the distance in this strange new setting that you're in? And what are those things close by as well? Is that, can you see and hear other people, other creatures in this space? Is that something quite dangerous over there? Or is that something really great that you want? What are the features of this landscape? What are the hazards? What are the things to look out for? So imagine all of these things about your space as vividly as possible. Be imaginative, use your creativity and use your senses as well to enter into that place. Now, because we're in this new space, it means that all the things that we thought were there aren't there anymore. They have become something else. That sofa, not a sofa anymore. That nest of tables, not a nest of tables. That bureau, think it's a bureau? No, we are in another place entirely. In fact, I am on a desert island. Um, so I'm delighted to let you know that there's a little uh, cat scratcher behind me. Not a cat scratcher anymore. No, no, no. In fact, it is now a palm tree. And uh, that little chair that you can see behind me looks like a bit like an armchair. No, no, no. Of course, we're not in my mum's front room anymore. We're in this desert island, so that armchair is actually a mysterious cave. So gang, what you need to do now is take at least 10 of your post-it notes or your pieces of paper. Write on them descriptions of what all of the objects in the room or garden you're in now are as you're reimagining this room or this outdoor space as a brand new setting. Label all of the items, so put them next to them. Do at least 10, but you can do even more than that if you want to. And once you've labelled at least 10 items, we'll come back together. Ready? Go! <laughs> Okay, gang, done. I have put, I believe, 11 labels around the room. So hopefully you have done 10 or more yourselves. So now that we have labeled everything in the room, we need to get into a little bit more 
detail. I want you to go around to all of your labels and add a sentence, a sentence or two of description about that thing. So, for example, on my label next to one of the chairs that said abandoned shack, I might write a wooden lean-to, empty aside from the smoking embers of a fire, and a leather-bound journal full of arcane symbols. So, I think you know what to do. On all of your labels that you've written, write a sentence or so of description, explaining what that is, fleshing it out a little bit. Okay, ready? Go! <laughs> labelled at least 10 things in this brand new space that you are in. You have then written descriptions on them, words, sentences, full paragraphs to describe what those different features are. Now, seeing as you are now the expert in this new place that you are in, I think it's probably only fair and safe for you to share that expertise with at least one, but maybe more, of the other people in your house. So I want you to get someone else in your house and to take them on a tour of this space. Point out all the features, all the things that you've labelled, explain them, describe them. Maybe if they're feeling particularly imaginative, after they've done the full tour, that person you're with, they might start imagining things in this space too. Huh. And once you have walked someone through that tour, you've practised it, you've got familiar with it, you know that you know this space really, really well, I want you to take me on a tour of it as well. I want you to share your amazing space with us here at Grim Co. So the way that you do that is up to you. You might like to write like a bit of a kind of tour guide or fact file to this space, explaining what it's like, what its features are, what lives there, if anything does live there, any hazards, any things to look out for. You might like to illustrate it, annotate it, do drawings. You might just like to write it up, type it up. You might like to do an audio recording. Have you ever been to somewhere where you get those headsets and you walk around and someone tells you what the place is? You could record something like that. You can probably do it on like a phone or a computer if that's something you have access to and would like to do. You could even, if you're feeling ambitious, create a video, a tour around this place. You could be like your own kind of David Attenborough showing us this amazing world that you've created. So, however you want to do it, writing, a bit of drawing in there, audio recording, video recording, create your tour guide to the space that you have imagined and share it with us. That is your challenge. So enjoy, good luck, and I can't wait to see and hear and read them.